Thanks for clicking on the link, clicking my video. Hope everyone's doing well in this, you know, crazy time. I've not been out of the house for a little while, so I can't do anything what I enjoy doing. So I thought I'd do a little Q and A. If you've seen my channel, you've seen that I've got a few different videos of different boats I've had over the years. So I thought I'd just talk about them. It's one of my favourite subjects, so why not? So please stay tuned. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe button. Let's do it. Oh, hello there, it's me, Popeye. Ant from Ant's World. What's been your most favourite boat? Well, thanks very much, Popeye, for that question. Favourite boat has to be the red Smart Wave boat. Um, it, it was a plastic boat, it was a nice size, it was about 15 foot long um, but because it was plastic it was really tough, it could like take some knocks unlike fiberglass ones where you scratch it really bad or you can puncture it this thing just used to bounce off it um, it just felt really safe I used to put all my family in there and I knew that you know when you were in it, it was sturdy, it was safe it handled the choppy water really well. And it's turned, it's been choppy and it just cut through the water really nicely. It looked big, but it was really light. I think because it was plastic, you know, it was just so easy to manoeuvre, easy to launch, easy to recover. I had never had any problems with it. On the back of it, I had a Yamaha 30 two-stroke outboard, which had power trim and electric start. So it was nice just chuck it in the water, trim up, the engine down, and then off we went. It was just easy boating. There was nothing hard whatsoever. All right there, it's me, Harry Potter. And from Ant's World, what's your most unusual boat you've had? Well, Harry, I hope you didn't fall off your broomstick then, but good question. The most uh, unusual has to be um, the Mosquito dry bike. It was a really odd thing. It was like half jet ski, half small speedboat. So it was like um, a jet ski hull, but it had an outboard on the back. On the back was a, a Mariner two stroke 40 horsepower. And this thing was tiny. It was like small and it, pff, it bombed it. As soon as you opened it up with that 40 on the back, it used to fly, keep up with jet skis. It was odd to look at. It was odd to ride. Um, the steering wheel was quite low and the seat was high. So when you're going up onto the plane, and you kind of and you kind of wanted to tip back off. So it was a bit. It was a bit of a wild, a wild horse really to uh, to ride properly. But it was tiny. It was small. It was easy to launch. I could launch it off the beach. I could just chuck it off the trailer and literally drag it into the water. Um, yeah, I had some good times with that. I just had a poo. Hee <laughs> hee. Ant from Ant's World. What's been the most fun boat you've had? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, Michael, what can I say about that? Well, uh, my most fun boat had to be my little Spitfire. It was amazing. It was a. It was tiny. It was awesome to look at. I've never seen a more original Spitfire out there. There's there's a few out there, but none of them had like tick the boxes like with badges, original gel coat. What was really nice, the gel coat was nice and thick. It had not been polished, so it was like see through. It was it was really nice. It had all the original little features on it, which uh, which was brilliant. And because it was it was only a two seater. And it was like a canoe, it felt like when you were in it, it was like a canoe. So you could literally pick it up, put it into shallow water. And what I used to do, I had a little paddle, and I used to like kind of canoe out to the deeper water so I could drop my outboard. The outboard I had was a, a Yamaha 25 horsepower. So for this tiny little thing, the 25, just it used to throw it about, it was brilliant. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. If anyone has I ever had any really unusual boats or any small tiny boats 
please can you comment below i love seeing the different varieties of small boats i mean big boats as well I, you know i'm not boatish or anything like that is that a boatist i don't know any boat you know if it floats brilliant so when all this madness is over i want to get my little drone out i'll be in a boat and i want to get it following me do some really nice footage in the boat cruising along drone following i think that would be really good if any of you guys have done this already please can you comment below i want to see it i want to see what it looks like i have got a video of uh, someone with a drone following me but i want to do some more of it so if i can get some feedback or maybe copy you, you guys if you've already done it i wouldn't mind if if you don't mind anyway um just watching it and just learning really but it'd be cool get the drones out when we can go out thank you very much for watching my video please press the like button if you like this kind of thing please press the subscribe button any feedback just put in the comments below I, you know i love reading the feedback and at the minute guys just stay in stay safe look after your loved ones look after yourselves and, you know together we can get through this come out the other side you know we can we can do it we can smash it thank you just one final thing if you can have a look at this channel it's me and my i'm a better half should i say um we've done a few funny videos um it's quite family it's a family channel so you know there's no blue or anything like that no swearing um it's also a few wedding prep stuff days out and just some funny bits so if you will please check it out thank you very much